Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com. And in today's video, real quick, I want to show you uh, an exciting profile of an upwork freelancer, Lucas, uh, from, from France. Uh, he has actually a high job success score, 94% job success score. is a top-rated freelancer, which means that he belongs to the top 5% of the freelancers on Upwork uh, in the given topic. So according to this metric is actually a result of his high job success score and uh, the earnings on the platform earnings, like 40K on uh, earnings plus and uh, the positioning so i i um i found this uh this profile interesting and uh share worthy because uh he has a very very simple positioning and uh he positioned himself as a data scientist and actually if, as it turns out so many people if you if you look at the upwork search actually many people position themselves as uh, uh many clients actually search for data scientists so they need a data scientist right for certain certain tasks they actually oftentimes they don't know what they need exactly they just they know they have a large data set and they want to obtain some insight in the data set for their business for example and they just search for data scientists on upwork and lucas is actually positioning himself nicely uh, in the, using this exact search term key key keyword uh, people search for right and this is a more generalized positioning and i don't uh, don't generally recommend to position yourself in such a generalistic way, right? Because, like, uh, think think of this uh, of it this way: you want to own the niche, which means that you should be able to deliver um, a large percentage of the gigs uh, of the top gigs in your niche. So, if say. 100 people in a given month search for uh, the term you position yourself in, then you should be able to deliver, say, 20 job, the 20 best clients in this given month, right? If you cannot do it, this usually means, that as a rule of thumb, that, that the niche is too big, right? Because now, and I mean, for data scientists, we probably have thousands of searches in a given month for data scientists. So, so Lucas will not be able to deliver 200, 200 of the best searches Per, uh, in a given month so um, uh, being not able to do this actually uh, puts him at, at a disadvantage right because now he has competition he has to uh, compete with other data with other freelancers positioning themselves as data scientists uh, who actually uh, compete away uh, like many of the benefits so I think he should over time focus more uh, focus his profile description a bit more but for now it works well right he makes sixty dollars per hour which is uh, not super great, but it is like it's a, it's it's great. I think uh, it's it's uh, reasonable, like a six-figure income level at least. And um, yeah, and you see, like let's quickly go over his profile description. I am a French freelance and graduate engineer, expert in data science, science and AI, and I love coding in Python. I worked for international companies, blah blah blah. Uh, I'm a self learner. Like most of us uh, coders, right? I spend an extensive part of my time diving into the docs to have a good grasp of a subject matter, often before, sometimes while implementing it. Finally, a clean, modular, concise, yet powerful code. Uh, it will be a pleasure to be part of the success of your project. Hope to see you soon. So it's a like solid description, but nothing outstanding, right? He's just interested in code and he likes to learn basically what applies to many of us. So, uh, but still, it is uh, like this, um, it is working. Uh, the I would say um, the the most um, uh, the the uh, reason the main reason why this works is because he is focusing on customer delight. He uh, uh, you can see like in this in this uh, his testimonials actually uh, clients really uh, like him. They really give him positive testimonials. Like Lucas was of great help regarding my urgent task, pro providing very good skills with ML and NLP. Stellar work done by Lucas. Uh, I will work with him again. Lucas is an excellent data scientist and so on. So people like working with him uh, because he delivers great value, right? So it's a very simple profile. You see, very simple offering. So he, he is not like, he's not the most expensive freelancer. He doesn't charge 200 bucks per hour, which he could do, which some data scientists do, uh, but he charges $60 per hour. He, does, he also doesn't charge $10 per hour, which also some people do. He is like somewhere in the middle, right? Charging a healthy $60 per hour. So if he works, say, eight hours per day, he still makes 480 bucks per day, which is great uh, for a freelancer because freelancers usually don't have a lot, a large uh, expense uh, column. So if you make 480 bucks per day, this is almost your take home income. And... Um, 
Uh, and he delivers great value, right? Not outstanding. He doesn't have a, a 100% job success, success score, but a 49% job success score. His profile description is nice, but it's not outstanding. It's just a nice profile description. But everything aligns, right? Everything aligns. So it's like a uh, you you can al almost feel the um, uh, the character of this freelancer to be a good, a very solid and good choice uh, with solid, good rates and solid and good job success. And everything, every, like everything aligns and uh, it is very trustworthy, like the big picture. Uh, those small different indicators all work together to create a um, 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 very consistent or so the clients expect a consistent um, service offering by this freelancer. So they book him and he makes a lot of money on the platform. And since he started the platform, which is not that long ago, right? He only worked like uh, uh, on eight jobs but he already made 40K in earnings. So I would say he's probably there for less than a year. So 1,100 uh, total hours. So uh, like a, a full-time employee works maybe 2,000 hours per year. So he has worked there for half a year or so. And like in a half a year already made like 40K on income. So it is not rocket science, right? You can do it. Uh, if, if, if Lucas can do it, you can do it. I know you can do it because I did it myself. Uh, it's like a great great uh, place to work on Upwork. I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a super great opportunity these days. If you are interested uh, on things that we actually teach in the Finkster Computer Science Academy, we have many data science courses, data science and machine learning courses, like here, this ML projects, Lego Star Wars, image classification. These courses are free for all Finkster freelancer students, students. If you are interested, you can check out the link in the description below. If you want to uh, get notified, and uh, don't miss out on, on any of my daily videos presenting one of those niches on Upwork, then definitely subscribe to the channel and give me a like and yeah, um, uh, see you in upcoming videos. Bye.